This is a general reading. Please contact me to schedule a personalized reading specifically targeted to address your situation in depth. I drew three cards for you today. They are the Page of Cups, the Seven of Staffs, and the Three of Swords. I'm not surprised to see the Three of Swords making an appearance after showing up in yesterday's reading. I often lay my cards out and shuffle them by placing them in separate piles so that they will be thoroughly shuffled. Even with this shuffling method, the same cards often reappear in readings. God is speaking about romantic relationships, and yesterday's tarot reading was about turning your heartbreak into happiness. Today's reading is a warning for those who have just begun a new relationship and don't want to place their romance in jeopardy. The Page of Cups speaks about a new love relationship. This coincides with yesterday's reading that spoke about being heartbroken in love, taking time to yourself, and then moving forward in a new relationship. Today's reading speaks about those starting off in a new relationship and not letting a defiant attitude cause it to end. Many people come to new relationships with baggage from the past. They can subconsciously treat their new partner as if he or she was the same person from their last relationship. This can manifest in multiple ways and it is a bad habit that causes a person to recreate the same situations in their relationships. Not only is it unfair to your new partner, but it can cause your relationship to end faster than it started. If you are entering a new relationship, it's important to let the past stay in the past and not judge your new partner based upon your ex's failings. The Seven of Staffs is a warning for you to lower your guard and not be so defensive. That defensive nature is going to cause unnecessary fighting and ruin your new relationship before you even have a chance for it to begin. The Three of Swords refers to the heartbreak you will be left with if you put up walls and engage in this defensive, strike-first behavior. If you want your new relationship to have a chance at growing and succeeding, you must lower your defenses, be open to communication, and not judge your new partner by your ex's previous failures. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. Lower your guard and really listen and hear what your partner is saying. Don't put up defenses as this will cause you to react and will lead to fighting and according to this reading is going to cause your new romance to fizzle out before its flame has a chance to reach new heights. Try to see your partner's side of things and open yourself up to a new experience. Don't judge your partner on past information that you've retained from your ex. Give your partner the gift of starting fresh and let the relationship grow in a healthy manner. God bless you.